Donald Trump promised this day was coming. He was he and his golf caddy, Dan Scavino, were putting out videos saying it was going to be wild. January 6th was going to be wild. We were warned that January 6th was going to be a dangerous day. They came from across the land, called together by the only impeached one term president to also lose the popular vote twice joined by a belief already laughed out of 60 courtrooms with 60 lawsuits and the president's own Supreme Court, that the Democratic Party had committed historic election fraud by having the largest voter turnout in U.S. history, and Democrats had stolen the White House as part of a plot that also included not winning the Senate on Election Day and losing seats in the House. An Arizona shaman who went shirtless so law enforcement could easily identify his tattoos who violently broke into the Capitol and later complained his jail lacked an organic menu. A Florida man who stole the speaker's lectern, then shaved his beard to not be recognized after posting photos of himself on Instagram so the police could easily recognize him. A white supremacist from Arkansas who sat at the speaker's desk, stole the speaker's mail, and decided it would be a clever idea to pose with it. They were white, they were male, they were stupid. Martha, my sweet, I write you now with joyful tidings from the sacred hallowed halls of the U.S. Capitol. We smashed a handicapped entrance to get inside, and my comrades just took a noble dump in the rotunda. Years from now, ere our grandchildren ask what we did in the great glorious MAGA wars, I'll show them this embossed stationery I just stole from a supply closet. It is enough to know that Mr. Trump is proud of us. I shall write you again ere I return home. Lance... This is so not cool. I'm really tired of saying this. We're not dating. We never dated. We didn't even hang out in high school, and this is really creepy, and I'd appreciate you if you stopped messaging me on Facebook. They had a good time that day, but within a week, Paula had fell. The president was banned from Twitter, and the president was then impeached for a second time. They thought the capital siege was their Fort Sumter, the reality was, it was their Waterloo. Uh, do you know that song by Ever Waterloo? Oh, I do enjoy that one. My dearest Martha, I received your conveyance while awaiting arraignment in a local center of detention. I had hoped my return would be cause for jubilation, what with me owning the libs at the Capitol. Instead, I was met by federal agents who now face 10 to 20 years for a variety of hoax crimes. The Soros-led media trains Antifa socialists to bribe the deep state so Democrats can chemtrail law-abiding, gun-owning European Americans with their intellectual elite. Lance, I seriously can't believe you're still harassing me, you confederacy-loving vermin. You are insane, and I reported you to your warden. Stop writing me, you fucking Nazi incel. Of course, you can't compare them to the Confederacy. The Confederates were working, uneducated white men who took up arms against the U.S. because wealthy plantation owners had somehow convinced them that their way of life was under attack. The Confederates were dupes and shockers who thought they were fighting for a noble, worthy cause. <laughs> oh, I'm glad that can't happen today. <laughs> <coughs> Martha, I sold a lot of meth for my new friends to get this Wi-Fi access. I have been fired, shamed on social media, convicted, and incarcerated. I'm ruined, but I still believe in our noble cause. Yesterday, a group of us arrested for rebellion got to watch the news on TV in general population. They showed former President Trump playing golf. Joe Biden's president, and Trump gets to golf every day, and we're in jail. Then the gods made us return to our cells. Hashtag winning. I drink your liberal tears. In the end, Trump went off to bang more hookers and play more golf. And the rioters all faced lengthy, hard prison sentences because they had trusted Donald Trump. You see, uh, they thought they were in a coup, but they were cucks. They were cucks of the coup. And that is how MAGA became the Ku Klux Klan.